Are you dreaming about buying your first home and you don't know where to start? You're wondering about how much you really need to save? Well, you are not alone. In today's video, I'm gonna be demystifying one of the most overlooked costs related to the home buying process, and that's closing costs. So, let's get started. What is closing costs? Closing costs are the fees and expenses necessary to finalize the purchase of your home. This includes anything from the appraisal fee, to title costs, to insurance, to loan origination fees. I know that when I first bought my home, I lumped all of these costs together. I didn't know what was the deposit, what was the earnest money, what was the closing cost. And if I had taken a little closer look, I would have found out that I could compare and shop for these uh, closing cost fees. But let's go ahead and get started in breaking these down into some simple steps. Here I have three jars. This very first jar represents your mortgage payment or your mortgage. The second jar represents your down payment. This makes the amount that you're financing a little bit less. It's probably what you're saving for right now. This third jar represents your closing cost. I've got these bag of marbles and this represents the dollar amount. And I'm gonna fill up these jars and give you a demonstration of what closing cost looks like in the end. So let's do it. So the bulk of your funds goes into your mortgage loan. The next amount goes into your down payment. All right, so take a look here. If you notice, you have just a little bit in your closing cost. And even though it's the smallest, it is really essential. I would estimate and allocate about two to 5% of the price of the home towards your closing cost. If you're not prepared, it's like doing a marathon, getting to the finish line, and then recognizing that you still have more hurdles to jump over, and that's not fun at all. So why is closing cost important? Well, you've got a budget for it along with your down payment. If you don't do that, you'll find yourself getting to closing short of funds and you'll be very unhappy. What you can do is reach out to your preferred lender and get something called a good faith estimate. That's gonna give you a clear picture of the total cost of what you need to purchase or finance your home with. And you'll use that information to budget so that you can be on the right path. And if you do that, you'll be a home buying pro. Buying a home is an exciting journey and understanding the cost is key to a successful process. If you like this and you want more tips, be sure to follow for more. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm Carolyn Fleary, a Maryland realtor and community guide serving the amazing people of the state of Maryland.